Hi and welcome to Basement Projects. In the last video we took a look at the quick change tool post. Today I will show you my long and painful way of fitting this tool post to my lathe. We start with this mounting bolt. I marked the area where I want to reduce the shaft. I don't have a way to cut imperial threads, so I machine the shaft down to cut an M12 metric thread on it. This operation is rather easy and fast. You just have to hit the right outside dimension. Here I'm cutting the chamfer at the front and the relief at the back. I'm just using my homemade chamfering tool for both. I wanted to use this homemade holder with an M12 die in it. This should make the threading quick and easy. At this point I didn't realize that the die was blunt and damaged. I tried to force it, but that just made it worse. The result is a deformed end. But when a lathe can remove metal, then there has to be a machine that can add metal too. I moved to my welder and covered the end with a few weld beads. It's not pretty, but it will work. We repeat the whole process to the point where we screwed up. You can see a few imperfections from the welding, but that shouldn't be a problem. I covered the area with paint before threading. That makes it easier to see the first pass. I started threading the part and everything went smoothly. An indicator on my top slide helped a lot to find the right depth and to retract the tool before I switched the direction of rotation on my lathe. Using oil and only taking shallow cuts, I worked my way to the final depth. I don't know what kind of steel this is, but it sure is tough.
After the final cut, the nut should fit perfectly, but it doesn't. It took me a while to realize what went wrong. At some point during the threading, the tip of the insert broke off. I could only see it after a cleanup and a closer inspection. After changing the insert and taking another cutting path, the nut finally went on. This normally easy task sure gave me a lot of trouble. But now it's finished and I learned a few new things about cutting threads on a lathe. Hopefully this will come in handy in the future. Bye and thanks for watching.